In this video, we will learn how to get product name in Razorpay Webhook response. So I have already created a workflow with Razorpay and selected payment captured as trigger event. And now by making a dummy payment, I have captured the Webhook response. You can see the details are here. The payment details are here and here exactly the product name is online php course for beginners so i'm going to show you how you can also receive this product name in the webhook response of razorpay let me take you to the dashboard of razorpay and you can see these are the several payment pages inside my razorpay dashboard i'm going to open this particular page neat revision notes for biology i'm going to edit this payment page and let me show you i have four fields price, full name, email and number. I'm going to add one more field here as a product name so that the data of that field can also be captured here in the response as product name. So let me edit, let me add that particular field, click on input field and instead of single line text, you'll have to choose drop down. Now why drop down? I'll tell you later. Give any random name to this field. Okay, I'm giving the name as product field. Now I'm going to give a product name as neat revision notes for biology. So this is the product name I have kept. Let me correct it for, okay. Click on save and you will see this particular field will be added immediately. Let me take it to the top. Product name, price, full name, email and phone number. Let me click on save and update the page. This is the URL of the payment page. Let me copy and open it in a new tab. And you can see the product name field is added. Now when I'm going to share this payment page with customers, they'll have to manually select this product name because the default value here is select. So I want something that this particular product name should be automatically pre-filled so that customer do not have to manually select it. For that, you'll have to go to the URL of your payment page and here you will have to write the question mark. And after the question mark, you'll have to give the name of your field. My field name is product name and make sure you write it in the small case. I have added it and after the field name, you will have to write equal to and provide the product name in the exact way, the way you want to be displayed here in the product name field. So I'm going to write the product name in the exact way. Okay. Hyphen revision notes for biology. Now I'm going to press enter and you will see this product name will be pre-filled automatically in this particular field. Let me even show you this in the incognito window. Okay. So this is how I'm going to share this payment page URL with the customers. And now they don't have to select the product name from the dropdown manually. It will be pre-filled automatically. They just need to fill the basic details, their personal details. And this is how they can make a payment. Now I'm going to take you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here we are going to create one more workflow with Razorpay and I'll show you how you can capture the webhook response. Okay, fetch the product name in Razorpay webhook response. Okay, I'm going to click on create. And here, let's select Razorpay as trigger application and I'm going to select Razorpay. Trigger event will be payment captured. This is the webhook URL. Go to this particular link by following the instruction. Okay, I have already logged into the Razorpay dashboard. That is why it will take me to this webhook section directly. So these are the webhooks which are already added. I'm going to click on add new webhook. Paste the same. Select the action event, active event as payment captured. Click on create webhook. And it is successfully going back. You can see it is waiting for the webhook response, which means it is asking me to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So let me open the revision notes, the product page, which I have just created. Let me refresh it and I'm going to make a dummy payment here. Assume that a test user is making a payment. The email address is admin at the rate pablitudes.com and any random mobile number, let's say, 
9111111111 okay and you can see as a customer i don't need to select these two fields manually these are actually prefill going to click on pay now and it will ask you the card details so let me open first the test card details which i have already opened let me copy this test card going back select the card click on skip saving cards card number any random date this is the test name cvv is 123 click on pay now click on skip saving cards now click on success and you can see the payment is successful going back in pably connect and you can see the response has been captured immediately this is the workflow which i was creating and let me see whether i have received that particular product name or not okay so this is the card details the card name is here okay email address is here phone number is here and you can see the product name has also been fetched out automatically in the webhook response the product name here is neat revision notes for biology so this is how you can also fetch the product name in the webhook response of razor pay and further create several automations apply several conditions apply several routers on these details in case you have any doubt you can share your query in the comment section thank you for watching this video